Hello everybody and welcome to my next game development video. It is now 8.47 a.m. and I have not even slept yet. And I have to get up at 12 because I got to go to church today. But I've been up all night because I've been really wanting to release this demo uh, of like the character creation and stuff. And I finally finished it. It's not perfect. There is... Um, there is bugs and stuff. I haven't been able to test it. So, but you guys can test it out. Tell me what bugs there are. You guys can tell me what um, improvements you want to see. What yeah, what I should add, etc., etc. So I'm just gonna show you uh, exactly what you can do with it and tell you how to do it. So it, that's a splash screen. Um, you operate the menu by clicking on the arrow keys. Uh, you could also use the W, A, S, and D keys as well. Uh, you click Enter or Z to go to a next um, to go to a next screen. So if I click Enter, I can see the credits. If you want to exit a screen, um, you can exit it by clicking the X button to close it. Now, if we go to Options, uh, it's still not highlighted, but uh, you could lower this to lower down the background music if you get annoyed. Oh, sorry, I just closed it. Anyways, uh, so in the new game screen, uh, now you can create your character with a whole bunch of different options now. So let me just assign one quickly. So operate the menu the same way. Um, I know the fade speed is slow, so please bear with that. I will be adding in the, um, something in the options to make it more bearable. Uh, so you guys can adjust that according to what you like. So anyways, you could choose male or female. So I'll choose male. You could choose skin tone. Uh, you could choose white or black. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, for eyes, when you select the eyes, you can choose any eye type and color you want. Um, you can scroll through this by clicking uh, the w using the W, A, S, and D keys or the arrow keys and you click Z or enter to select the actual thing okay uh, so I put red eyes uh, if you go down to hair uh, the style is just the regular hairstyle that you're gonna see on the character uh, and uh, one thing is that you can click P to preview it but if you don't click enter or Z if you go back if you click X or something then it won't actually st save on the player so anyways you can select uh, any hair color whatever you need now uh, we have add-on 1 and add-on 2 it has the same exact images on add-on 1 as add-on 2 but for for instance say you want to have a bunch of different wow what happened to my image oh uh, it, oh yeah that's a bug that I gotta fix but say for instance that you want to uh, uh, if you want to have uh, multiple things, uh, multiple add-ons, then you can add two add-ons to it. So I'll add in one add-on right there. And it's a bug that I'll have to fix, so I'll fix that bug soon. It's relatively simple. And then you can select another add-on to add. So whatever, I'll add on that add-on. Uh, if you go to shirts, uh, you can select the shirt any shirt color you want and if we go to jackets and it's a different selection for females than males just so you know uh, so you can select a jacket I just select the random not one whatever uh, for arms you can select some gloves so any color gloves that you like you can select them to put on the gloves uh, if we go down to pants, you put pants on your character. And if we go down to shoes, then you can select any color shoes that you want. Simple enough. Now if we go down to done, when we click done, it's going to bring us to the gameplay screen. There's nothing on the gameplay screen right now, but you can move around with your character. If you want just to test out how your character looks while it's walking, you move it using the arrow keys, not the W, A, S, and D keys. And if you want to walk faster, just hold the space bar to walk faster. Okay? 
Now, uh, once that's done, if you don't want to go through that whole design process again, uh, then what you could do is just click load game and I'll take you straight to the to the screen and you can use your character right there. Now, one last thing I want to show you is that if you if you want to redesign your character all over from scratch, all you have to do is just click the R button and it will remove everything. Okay? And uh, one more thing I want to show you, which is a cool feature I've added, is that if you click the P button in the gameplay screen, it will pause it. And yeah, and then you click the P again to, uh, to unpause it. Uh, so anyways, that is it for this game development video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be putting up the installer on my on my website uh, shortly after posting this video. Uh, one thing to note is that, let me open the installer, is that when you press it, it's going to say uh, this package was created with a trial version of, of advanced install. Okay, I don't know where. Where I was at cause I just got a phone call but anyways um okay so once you install the once you click to install it you're gonna get this message right here it says the package was created with a trial version of advanced installer you may use it for evaluation purposes only uh, just click OK and the installer will pop up I already have it installed so it shows these options here but um, yeah you can install it to your computer it will show up on your start menu and yeah so you can run it i'm going to be posting it on my website so under the downloads tab so go to codingmadeeasy.ca click the downloads tab you should see something called pavilion click that and you'll be able to download it uh so thanks for watching this i hope you enjoyed it and bye